guys! Welcome to another episode of Sketched Cast. I'm Cryptic Inc. and this is episode 20. I hope you all are having an awesome week so far, making art and doing whatever it is you do best. Thanks for coming back for another video for some art and a chat. If you'd like to draw along with me, feel free to get your art supplies together and settle in. So, today's painting was actually based on a request from Alien Alchemy on Instagram. Who requested that I draw a two-faced creature on psychedelics uh, which I thought was an awesome idea so I decided to not only sketch it but to turn it into a painting every once in a blue moon I like to open up requests for things people would like to see me draw and I'm always surprised when I do because you guys come up with the craziest most outlandish random things um, <laughs> and they're really awesome things that I wouldn't even think about so if you ever did want to suggest something for me to draw feel free to follow me on Instagram um, and the that information will be in the description below because I do open that up to the public um, on there every once in a while and it's something that I want to do a little bit more often so yeah thanks again to alien alchemy on Instagram for the awesome idea for this painting um, today I am making another mixed media painting, this time with gouache and watercolor. And a little bit of marker and ink when it's all said and done, but mostly gouache since that's what I'm trying to get better at painting with anyways. Um, I'm actually learning how to get the right consistency in the paint um, so that it will spread without being too runny or transparent. Although I'm finding that based on what I've heard other people say about using gouache is that getting the right color and consistency for painting can actually be a little tricky when you have cheap paints like I do. But I mean, since I'm only practicing, I think it's fine that I don't spend too much um, money on paints before finding out whether I like the medium or not. <laughs> that's, that's just how I am. And I feel that now that I'm starting to find that I actually like painting in gouache, I think I'll go ahead and get some better quality paints for myself um, in the future, someday. But um, before I get to using the gouache, I did start with a thin layer of color using watercolors from my Koi watercolor kit. Since I knew I would be painting in layers, I thought the wash of colors would make a good foundation to paint on top of when I went in with the gouache. I don't really know how much good it did but it gave me a better idea of how the colors are going to go together in the end. I will admit, though, that the painting looked so rough in the beginning, like, just like the last one where I wasn't sure if it was going to turn out okay, but I was stubborn as always and went on ahead anyways, and I'm happy I did because even though it didn't come out exactly as I'd planned, in the end, I do end up happy with it, and it really helped me learn a little more about how to paint with gouache. So it wasn't so bad that I wanted to start over completely like in the last video, but it was, um, it was concerning in the beginning, but I, I just kept along with it. Um, like I feel like I'm starting to fall into my own way of painting hair the way I like it to look. And I wasn't able to do that very well when I first started using gouache. It's helped me Kind of figure out how to blend with it a little better just by practicing. Now I just want to start getting better at mixing the colors I need on my palette before I start painting. Because I get a little impatient when it comes to mixing colors. I start off by assuming I can just figure out when I start the painting and when it's already on the paper, which I figured out is a big mistake because sometimes I'll put down a color I didn't really think about or end up with like a color scheme that doesn't go together. So yeah, mixing colors on the palette um, is on my on my list of things to learn and it's it's what I want to get better at too. Just painting traditionally, it's, it's this new journey for me, okay you guys? <laughs> Once again, finishing something was still really good practice and I feel like things can only get better from here as I pick up on what painting techniques work for me and how I want to make my art with this medium. I see myself continuing to mix watercolor and paint um, and gouache and ink and marker all together. I like that I can have more control over how a drawing comes out because I can use a medium that I like with one that I'm still learning with. 
and the outcome is always so interesting to me because it begins to feel more like play and less like work once I get towards the end of something and I can just throw in all these other mediums to fit what I'm trying to do with an illustration. I feel like any work you make can be a positive experience depending on the way you think about it. You know, I feel like you can react one way or the other when you happen to make something you don't really like and that is you can either be upset about it and go on about how bad you think you are or you can go and say, hey, that piece of art is done and over with, here's what I've learned and this is how I'm going to do better next time based on what I learned, you know, making this scrappy painting. <laughs> Um, but no, in, in all honesty, I think it kind of sucks to listen to other artists that have completely given up because they don't feel they are where they should be skill-wise. And I can't really tell anyone not to give up because I know art is not for everybody. Not everybody is going to love it. But I can't help but feel like you can only make yourself feel worse by speaking into existence such negativity that by saying you're not good at something over and over again you become your own undoing eventually um i don't know i won't get too into it but it's all just about your sense of perspective and putting yourself down all the time just isn't doing you any good as a person or as an artist or, or anything so definitely be good to yourself have fun and take breaks when you can and just don't beat yourself up about it um, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I guess whether a piece of art is successful or unsuccessful in your eyes, it's okay because it's like this little milestone on your own journey towards a better painting or drawing next time or in the future. Sometimes you have to make not so great work before making something you're really proud of. And even then, your best work still makes you better for your next painting. At least that's what I think. I feel like I learned best through actively practicing. Making mistakes and then fixing them the second time around is how I find my, myself improving, slowly but steadily. Um, I'm happy with how this painting comes out. It's not perfect, and, and I want to stress that it's not perfect. Like, I wish I had thought about the color palette a little longer before diving right in. I feel like the colors really clash with each other in this piece, but I mean, on the other hand, I, as I was painting, I did begin to think um, about how sick or, sick or nauseous a person might feel on psychedelics like this creature is supposed to be. Um, in the end, I do feel the colors actually kind of lend themselves to a kind of trippy, sickly vibe, which is an awesome way to find myself thinking about it now that I've you know, finished. But... Um, yeah, I mean, it may not have turned out like I thought it would be, but painting this illustration had only made me more ready to try my hand at the next one I do. And that's how I'm deciding to look at it. It's helped me to know what I want to improve on for the next piece. Yeah. <laughs> you know, last week, how last week I said that I was happy to be back and recording new videos again, and this is totally random segue um but guess what just as i am settling back into the routine of making videos my camera just stopped working all of a sudden <laughs> while i was recording this video it stopped it actually stopped about halfway through the painting and i had just woken up one morning to turn it on so i could finish recording and the lens just stopped working it doesn't work anymore so right now i'm in the process of sending it back um to get it replaced or fixed or whatever so I'm, I'm happy that i can still do that but luckily i was able to dig up my old camera which was the first one i got a few years ago which is this like big clunky fuji film i think it's called camera and it's the first one i got when i first started recording um these youtube videos and it's a little heavy to begin with, and it only records like nine minutes at a time, which is kind of annoying when I have to keep turning it back on, but <laughs> it's something, and it means I won't have to stop recording new videos all of a sudden just because my other camera broke. So yeah, I was a little disappointed at first, but I'm just glad it's a problem I can deal with 
and not one that's going to stop me right in my tracks. So I'm still gonna make videos. I just thought that was an interesting thing that happened. <laughs> I'm actually glad I can still make videos because I was planning on doing a daily drawing or painting challenge next week. Now I don't know if it's going to be daily yet. I, I might end up making um, two videos a week to, so I'll still do sketch cast and then um, the this drawing challenge. Um, I'll kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. But all I feel like all this talk about getting better at using gouache makes me feel like I could benefit from some consistent painting and an actual goal. It's also the, something I want to do before Inktober gets here, which is like my favorite month long art challenge, by the way. And Inktober, for those that might not know, is this month long challenge in October created by the artist Jake Parker, where you draw every day in ink all month. And it's awesome if you've never done it and that sounds interesting to you. Definitely keep an eye out for the event. It's called Inktober and all the art people will be making come October. It's like, ah, it's my favorite thing that happens every year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a personal challenge for 30 days before then. So probably it's all September long as a way to practice with a more specific goal in mind. Um, I might do portraits to begin with, but we'll see. But yeah, anyways, this painting is looking like it's coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed my rambling about, um, you know, getting through the, the lesser paintings to get to the better ones. Um, I hope those of you that were drawing along with this video got some good work done. And if you're in the sharing mood, um, you're always welcome to join the rest of us on Zombie Studio on Facebook to share your work with the other artists online. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it despite my slight rambling. This week, I would like to pose a question. And that is, what is it that you want to get better at? Is it anatomy or using new art supplies? You know, what, what new art supplies are you using or have you tried recently? Are you trying to get better at drawing animals or eyes or hands? Or, or honestly, are you just the kind of artist that just likes to do it all for fun? You know, not everyone has to constantly worry about practicing. I know that I might make it seem like that's all I think about, <laughs> but that's totally not the case. Enjoying the process is just as important. So yes, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments or through email or however you wanna reach me. I always appreciate them. Thanks again for watching you guys. Have fun making art and enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time, bye.